We all know how important the opioid epidemic has become and what services are available to help family members grieving the death of loved ones who have died following an overdose. So let's welcome Diane Snyder Cowan and Sean Eigenbrod from Western Reserve Grief Services. And uh, this is one of those things that's so prevalent that almost everybody knows somebody who's affected by this, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Ohio is the second in the country. How with, did that happen? Uh, well, there's lots of theories. I'm yeah. not sure which one is correct, right. but we have that unfortunate distinction. Um, 143 Americans die every day from an overdose. and That's like a war. Yes, it's an epidemic, absolutely. Um, so we see so many people, we heard about so many people that are grieving this type of death, and whether it's from opioids or other substances, it can have an emotional and psychological um, devastation on the family. Yeah. So at Western Reserve Grief Services, we recognized this need. We were getting lots of calls uh, quickly after someone would die, and we knew how important it would be to offer a support group for mm -hmm. those uh, grieving the death from this type of loss. And it's really important for people to be with other people who are grieving the same type mm -hmm. of loss. So this is where we bring Sean in. Sure. Sean, uh, he's, uh, he's, he, it's Sean is um, one of our bereavement coordinators. He's a social worker with certification in grief counseling, and we're fortunate to have Katie, a bereaved mom who had an adult son die, and they're co-leading our new group. Yeah. So there's so many different reasons people are depressed about this. I mean, obviously a death, but there's shame, guilt, all kinds of different things there. How do you deal with that, and, and how did you come to this challenge? Yes. Well, uh, I mean, there's always a mix of emotions when any loved one dies. Sure. But when the death is due to an overdose, yes, feelings like shame and blame, uh, loneliness, fear, anxiety, all of those can emerge too and be dominant. So we find that meeting with other people who have gone through a similar type of experience can provide hope and healing mm -hmm. for attendees. What do, you, what do you learn about this? The more you get into this, I mean, you start to un uncover different problems and situations like uh, people think of drug overdoses they think of like people who are drug abusers or it's, it's not always the case with this is it? it's something that happened almost by accident for some people for some people it does happen by accident mm -hmm. no one wants their child to grow up to be a drug addict no one says I'm gonna grow up and be a drug addict and sometimes just from uh, pain medications that they might have been prescribed or trying something once some people don't understand that addiction is a disease it's a disease of the brain and that's part of the problem and things that are addressed in the group mm -hmm. so how do you help yes. yes how do you go about helping um well we provide a safe and private space for people to connect with others who have um, experienced a similar type of loss you know we uh, don't require people to talk in the group or to actively participate in the conversation. If they're not comfortable doing so, that's fine. Sometimes it can be very helpful and healing just to be present and to listen to other people's stories and insights. Um, and lastly, we, um, we don't require that people, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought, I'm that's sorry. That's okay, that's all right. Yeah, that's okay, you know, because I was, I was thinking about what you were saying and it seems like it's, the most important thing is not to be alone. Exactly. You don't have to be there. You don't have to participate. No. You don't have to worry about representing yourself or your lost loved one. It's about no. a collection of people all with a we, similar problem. All we ask is that people register with us in advance so that that way we can provide a little bit more information to them. They can know better what to expect, um, perhaps feel a little bit more comfortable, and then decide for themselves if and when they want to give our group a try. Hospice of the Western Reserve is real gift to our area of so many different services you provide and this is one that it can slip through the cracks and we know it's such a large complicated problem and uh, everyone mm -hmm. appreciates the help so make sure you get in touch if, if you need some of that help. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.